So before I continue, I want to trim these lines so they are neat and uh, show my walls uh, correctly. So for that, I'm gonna use the trim command and I'm gonna zoom here to show you how it's done once. So what you do is you type trim enter or you go to the ribbon on the modify section and you click trim and then you select the surfaces that you want to use as cutting edges so it's always easier to just select you know a large amount of, of, of lines or geometry and then you press enter after you do that when you hover on top you will see that there is an X that means that if you left click those lines will be gone so and that's how you um, work to uh, clean those uh, lines that are ex exceeding or co also called construction lines so i'm going to keep doing this i'm going to do it one more time so i'm going to press escape and uh, let's work it on this one for example in this area so i press trim this time trim enter i'm going to select all this area enter and then i'm also going to select my selection my green selection to get rid of that very fast and then i can do the same for here i'm going to select this and you see that these are gone but this didn't so what you do is you have to do it manually and in this case in this line you can't do it because it's not really intersecting so what I do is I press escape and then I just click on it and delete so you have to do this uh, for the rest of the drawing I'm gonna do it uh, and then I, I'm gonna get back to you so I finished trimming all the lines of my uh, floor plan and you can see that it's looking really nice at this point. I also added that storage room on the right side uh, that was missing. Now the next step is to organize this drawing into, into layers. Layers are important in any drawing application because they allow you not only to get organized but also if your drawing is complex uh, you can turn on and off uh, elements in, in it uh, and this will facilitate the drawing and uh, working on it. So to do that, we're gonna click on the layers property button. You can also access this by typing layers enter. And we have the layers manager here. And uh, you see that there is a list, in this case there is only one row uh, of the layers we have in this drawing. Layer zero is the one that is by default. And uh, what I wanna do is, I'm gonna create a new layer to put my outer walls in. So what I do is I click here where it says new or alt n if you want and then I'm gonna name it walls. After that I want you to see something the first uh, the first option here I'm gonna expand all this so it will be easier for us uh, to read it I'm gonna expand all of this. So the first option is called on and it has a light bulb this means if we want our layer to be visible the second one is freezing that means if we want our layer or all the elements that are in it to be uh, regenerated by AutoCAD or not the third one is locking the layer meaning that once it's locked uh, you can't make changes to the objects in it this is extremely useful and it's very similar to working in Photoshop and other applications color will change the color of all the elements inside it to a specific color and this is almost indispensable to differentiate what elements are in which layer so I'm gonna change it from white to let's say something like um, let's, let's use the same aqua color of the original drawing and I'm gonna press OK the next thing is line type you can take you can change the type of the line here to continuous or dotted I'm gonna click it so you can see it there is nothing here but you can load styles and then use them instead of the straight uh, lines that AutoCAD uses by default and uh, there are other things here like printing options etc etc that are not as so useful and I will talk about it in other videos so okay I created my new layer I'm gonna close this but how do I put this into uh, the walls layer? I know they are in layers, uh, these walls are in layer zero because they are white. And that's the color of the layer zero um, layer. And I see it here in this drop down. Now I have two, I have walls and zero. So what you do is this, you select the objects you want to put in your new layer. So I'm gonna select all of this, it's all selected. And then you click on the drop down and select the walls layer. Once you do that, press escape, you see that all the walls change color to that aqua color that means they are now in the walls layer uh, if I, you want to make that layer active 
you just have to click it on it again on the drop down and now everything I draw here so for example I'm gonna draw a line just to do it you see that that line is, uh, is the aqua color that means it's in the in in the walls layer I right click and delete on this next step I'm gonna bring the blocks or uh, pictures of the doors and walls that we need to complete uh, the drawing now I copy pasted them for another file and this is the easiest way for you to find blocks there are many blocks uh, that you can find online for free and again blocks are just drawings are AutoCAD drawings that have been grouped in something called a block and that can be reused over different drawings uh, so AutoCAD comes by default with a group of blocks so if you want to see those default blocks that come pre-installed with AutoCAD, all you have to go is click on the View tab and then click where it says Tool Palettes. And the Tool Palettes shows you, you know, all the different blocks for different kinds of drawings. Uh, and electrical, mechanical, civil, structural. So if none of these blocks uh, are useful to you or in a specific drawing, then the easiest thing is to just download a drawing that has blocks that you want to use and then copy paste them into your own drawing and another thing you could do is just download the blocks online from different websites so I have found uh, these blocks from this drawing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna control V them and you see I have them here and I'm just gonna drop them anywhere now I also have created uh, my own layers for the window and the door element